this is Yesterday Cafe and Tea Room, you can see behind me, and it's here in Old Florence off of Main Street. And I absolutely, this is the best cafe and bakery around for finding a gluten-free treat when you're really rushed and trying to just find something that satisfies sweet tooth their bread pudding. Oh my goodness, is amazing. I also really like their um, citrus cake, which is really nice. It's kind of like a bunt cake mix. And there's some other really good treats here. I wouldn't recommend their cream tea or their high tea, which we call in America high tea in England. It's a low tea, but I would suggest Europa and Covington for that. It's a little bit pricey, but for every day, finding a tea you like, finding, you know, some gluten-free treats every day in their cafe, this really is the place to come and get some. Um, check out for more gluten-free tips and options. Um, K, K-N-O-R-R, so K Nor forward slash empowernetwork.com, gluten-free tips, tricks, and also just reviews on places like this, yesterday's cafe and tea room. And if you are on my list, which I will be emailing you this, you know that I have been blogging for a little bit now, and I found the goose that laid the golden egg. And I know you saw in my email, um, probably the first one I sent you, about I finally found the goose that laid the golden egg. And if you haven't opted in, I want to know, have you been able to find that goose that's laid the golden egg for yourself? Because if you're still looking at my posts and you're on my list, I'm kind of guessing not, but have not convinced you to opt in. And it's like, why not? I mean, I've been where flat broke, got in a wreck, um, wasn't my fault. The other car threw open their door in front of me and I hurt my hip for three months. I was in a bed and my emergency money runs out pretty quick when you hurt your hip because you can't get off of your hip either. Which way, laying, sitting down, standing up, you're on your hip. I went from no money to completely broke having just can't pay for anything and yet I needed a job. I needed to be able to get myself better. So it was a bit of a struggle there for a little bit. And before I was working two jobs, college full time, and I had to give that up even though I had money, you know, no life, but had to give that up unfortunately because you couldn't work when you've hurt yourself that badly. So you go from, you know, making money, no life to flat broke and needing something that actually supports you and pays the bills but you can't do a regular job anymore, what are you going to do? And I thankfully, oh my gosh, I'm sure people there has been time that you've been out there and let's say you were on a beach and you heard the seagulls and it was a beautiful cloudless day with the surf rolling up, you could hear it crashing on the rocks and gorgeous blue as there a sky meeting in the horizon, a beautiful blue green sea and you felt at peace, you felt at harmony with your surroundings and just all of a sudden knew that that was where you were meant to be, that that was what you wanted to do and that was where you were supposed to be in that perfect moment. Or maybe then that you were in a busy street or a busy city and for some reason that day the crowds just parted, even though they're packed in lamp sardines, you could just go through that crowd like a knife through butter on a warm day and everything got done, everything clicked into place and you knew I smell popcorn. Anyway, sorry, it's a cake bakery and I smell popcorn. But um, you knew that was where you were meant to be. You knew that moment that that was where everything just clicked into place. You know, looking back a couple of months when I opted in for blogging, I thought for a minute I'm holding my credit card sitting there, looking at the button kind of like yours, probably looking at right now on my page, and you're like, oh, this is going to be another thing that sits on the shelf or is always in you know, my computer. I never look at it. I never use it. And I just like, is this one thing that I'm just, again, wasting what little money I have to do this? And I was like, no, it felt right. Everything just clicked into place. I got all in. I started blogging. Second month, made $6,000. $6,000 going from nothing to making $6,000. How many people can say that in their businesses? Now, of course, my results aren't typical. There's people that made a lot more money in their second month than I did. but. There's people that did it, and you have to, though, take massive action. You have to be able to actually do something and decide for yourself that you're not going to live a life that somebody else decides your value, that you want to be and know that you're in the place that you need to be, that this is right, that this is what it was meant to do. And if you're like me, you know, you went from maybe supporting yourself, you know, no life, but supporting yourself, surviving, flat broke, or maybe it was the other way around and you have money right now, but you're not living you're surviving and 
this has opened up where I am able to at what two three o'clock in the afternoon come and review a gluten-free bakery that I love and to blog about something that's dear to my heart something that's dear to yours might be canoes or fishing or yacht racing whatever is meant to be what you love you can write about and other people out there will find that interesting and want to talk to you about it and you can help make the world something that you get to participate in and actually excel at I mean you could be like a lot of people I've seen you go to a rock star and events of people wanting to blog and wanting to find financial freedom where they're wanting to take videos with you and wanting to talk to you and it's like you're a rock star except for you don't have to hide like rock stars do the rest of your life you get the best of both worlds you live free and you get to actually have a life and not have to hide from it and then you get to also be a rock star at times when you want to so seriously have you found the goose that has laid the golden egg for you if not why aren't you waiting why are you waiting to sit there take out your credit card and you know what I'll give you call to action take massive action and if you go and get your credit card out fill in that push that big red button fill out your form I will send you a quick start checklist to help you skyrocket in your earning potential and I'll also send you this one word I'm serious one word that literally changed my whole viewpoint on marketing send you the definition of the word too just in case you know this one word like how does that apply I don't understand it but seriously you want to be able to have that freedom you don't want to have a life where you finally start making money and people start calling you all the time and then you can't enjoy it and you don't want to have that kind of team and I know you don't but I do want to see you succeed I do want you to have freedom like I do so giving you that email and helping you to start your own life and be your own person and not to hear what other people deem you're worthy of earning that's something that's really powerful that you can be yourself and actually have your life and live your life and enjoy living your life. So like I said, you could be like me that you had that card out there, we're going to push the button and did it and you're no better off today. Which I did for, you know, I looked at it in power and for like two months like, ah, it's not for me. And when I did, oh my goodness, my life has changed. My life, oh, has been such exciting again and enjoyable rather than this horrible you know, barely surviving and paying the bills. So, like I said, there's a button, there's a link below, click on it, press the button, get all in, put out your credit card, get a blog, and start being at peace and harmony.